Hey guys, I'm Kerko. Welcome to Industries of Titan. This is an industrial city building simulation slash strategy game set on Saturn's moon Titan where our goal is to create a sprawling industrial city. The game just hit early access on Epic Store and it's gonna be releasing in full, 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 full access, full release, whatever it's gonna be called. Uh, in roughly a year on Steam as well, so fear not those of you that do not want to purchase games on Epic. Uh, as you can see, it has quite a roadmap planned ahead over here, plenty of new things coming through the early access stage, but uh, I'm gonna be checking it out right now. I played a bit through the tutorial and we're gonna be starting a new game, just standard mode seems fine to me. Uh, you also have survival, where things get stronger and tougher and all that stuff. And you have zen, where, you know, there's no enemy attacker, so you can just chill. So we're gonna go with standard. Uh, currently, we only have land land fallers as our uh, only faction. You start with one headquarters, five employees, five minerals, zero isotopes, 100 credits, 20 influence, and 3x3 three three territory. As the Titan Gold Rush ramped up, many startups and corporations from Earth, Mars and the Asteroid Bell have scrambled to snap up rich, ruin rich land and start their own urban businesses. The Landfallers faction is this swirling, leaderless group of striving hopefuls from across the system. They're people who dream big and have probably ta tasted failure. They also share a common hyper-capitalist culture. Landfallers are motivated by their paradox position and powerful rewards of success. So basically, you know, people are going to America. It's, it's the way it is. So, we're going to be playing as Landfallers and we have different modes over here so modes within modes you can go low risk land grant everything is normal you have high risk high reward uh very high resources but um, also very high rebel camps that are gonna attack you and pioneering terraformer low resources and low rebel camps but high other things i don't know this this one is less i think less urban I guess. Anyway, we're just gonna go with normal stuff, so, you know, you get to see the the representation of the game as it is in its normal settings, and then, you know, whenever you play on your own, you can go into custom and just play with all of that the way you want to. So we're just gonna go with normal, and we're gonna confirm this destination. We are the Ungun Traders. Let's uh, go a bit. Gieno Works? Nah, nah, nah. Croxil Associates. Perfect. We don't need tutorials. We're big boys, right? Sure. He says that and then five minutes into the game he's not gonna have any idea what he's doing anyway let's launch the ship let's go from our orbital station into titan now the titan has been settled at some point in the past there is a ton of ruins over here and uh, our goal is to explore those ruins get the materials that are that were used to build them or you know that are left behind over there grab those and then build our industrial something somethings it's also pretty beautiful Yeah, no pressure, right? No pressure. All right. Here we go, boys. There we go. This is the city map. This is our headquarters. This is the spaceport. And this is the council hall. We do not own these two pieces of whatever they are. But we do own our headquarters. And that's about it. And you can see uh, this is our territory currently in blue. That is what we own. Well, that's that's all our ours. So uh, let's let's take a look quickly at what the UI has for us. So right now our five employees are coming. You can see we have five employees. There's going to be more uh, ships coming in here, but we need to unlock that with a couple of artifacts. Uh, we also have citizens, which currently we have zero. These guys will be providing us with credits later on, and we can also turn them into more employees. And this is our influence. With influence, we unlock new or claim new pieces of land, bribe the council and all kinds of good stuff. And this is our artifacts. Currently, we have zero and we can find them in uh, the ruins. So I'm going to just go and let all of our employees 
go survey these couple of ruins that we have around here. You can see you can rotate the place and all that stuff. You also have ultra rich minerals out here and the isotopes over there. You can see up here we have our credits. This is our money basically. Then we have resources. We have minerals and isotopes. With these two we build stuff. And we also have zero waste. Waste is a byproduct of many things and you have to burn it and get rid of it. And that also causes pollution, which you, you know citizens will not like. So let's take a look at the ruins. We already have one artifact and some minerals and some waste. So you can either take either or, you know, you can take resources or you can take artifacts. Uh, and we're going to need some artifacts. Artifacts are important, but so are the resources. So this one doesn't have any artifacts, so this one is, you know, straight on salvage. Uh, let's see, which one has, like, low... Like, this one has low minerals, low waste, so we're gonna extract an artifact out of that one. Uh, this one has... Like, this one has huge amount of waste, which I don't really want in my, uh... In my place. I'm gonna grab this as well. This one has only... You know, just a slight amount of stuff. So, right now people are going to be like, Hey, you can't store anything over here, you know. Everything is just lying on the floor. Can't use that. So, if you go into our headquarters, you can actually enter buildings. And this is another building area. Very important, actually. Uh, you can enter all of your buildings, or, well, most of them. And you can build stuff. You can see storage right now is full. Or we only have one storage container. And in here we can build a ton of different things. You kind of play Tetris with this. You can see as you mouse over these things, it tells you how big these things are. So first thing that we want to do is we're going to build one of these big storage boys. Um, a big one, sure. But in the corner. Use all of our minerals. Is that smart? Probably not. But let's do that. Now, next thing we're going to need is to build some fuel fabricators. Yes, they're called fabricators. Don't ask me why. Um, I'm joking, of course. Uh, so we need more minerals. Uh, we'll grab more minerals out of here. That's going to produce a lot of waste. Not the best, but it is what it is. So we do want to get some minerals. And we can you can claim, you know, past your, like, land that we have over here. As long as it's in your command area, you can claim stuff. So, uh, we're gonna claim this one for 20 of our influence. And then we can assign one of our employees to go work in here. And they're gonna be providing us with minerals. Minerals, Marie! Minerals! So, that's gonna be our building materials, so to speak. Now, if you go in here... That thing has been built. So, next thing I did say, we're gonna need a fuel fabricator. And we're gonna go with... Just the big one. So this one is gonna provide. Uh, this one is gonna provide fuel, so we can then produce power because a lot of buildings will need will require power. So let's uh, build this bad boy, and then uh, we're gonna need some fuel tanks to store the fuel so it doesn't go quite to waste. And I'm gonna just smack these ones in. Yes, play Tetris and all that stuff. Edge is the way it is. All right, you can also speed things up with. Pressing shift and then one, two, or three. So there you go. We can we can speed it up with shift three, sure. So now since we do have some artifacts, we can unlock this thing. So basically what are you seeing over here is there are ships there are ships coming in here. And each of these are providing us with something. So if you pause right now, uh lo looks like this one would if we spend six of our influence we can get seven minerals two isotopes and nine waste of course we don't really want the waste but you know everything produces waste unfortunately so we can claim that they have zero people now important thing is these guys will provide you with citizens but you have to of course build a, a place for them to live somewhere in any case so yes that's something we can look for later on so these things are now being fueled and getting fueled up so it's time we start producing some energy so this one produces five fuel well what if you build one of these big boys and this one is going to use three fuel to produce five energy i think is what it said nine energy actually so triples basically it's great it's great stuff we're also going to need some uh, uh, energy storage so basically batteries we can we can build a battery somewhere out here yes i'm just you know smacking all of these things tetris like in here 
so we're gonna put one of these and you know what put one of these over here now uh, we're gonna need energy relays to connect this thing that produces energy to these two things that would then consume energy so to speak so if you build this one over here this one is gonna connect to batteries and then stuff is gonna get stored but now to get the energy out of the of the building you can see this one is storing up to get to maybe other buildings and stuff we need industrial outlet so this one will allow the energy to go out and then connect to more stuff so let's put this bad boy over here we're gonna build this bad boy over here and then outside of our city we can um let's see we can then build uh, energy pylons correct these things then provide energy from you know they power from let's say this building and then provide the energy to uh, buildings in a bigger grid but right now let's get some minerals before i can actually show you we can also build a factory and this factory uh provides additional floor space for more buildings as you can see that's important and you can also link these uh buildings together so they provide even more floor space you know two buildings linked together if they're of the same size will provide more fl uh, floor space than just you know uh, uh two buildings if they were just built separately uh, let's also go out there and survey some of these ruins that are just around us. Maybe some of them would be worth claiming. You never know. Survey complete. Alright, what are we getting? Some artifacts. Artifacts are useful. That one has a lot of... All the stuff. Sure, let's... um. Which one has a lot of waste? This one has, like, no waste, which is great. I like that. Let's uh, let's claim this one. We're gonna extract an artifact out of that one. Let's uh, let's go claim this one, and we're gonna go salvage it. Let's say. Now, as you can see, we also need isotopes, and isotopes are out here. This one, we need 40 influence to actually claim. So it's gonna it's gonna take a while before we can get out there. So let's go uh, energy pylons. Then you can see uh, it produces you a grid where you can you know power power stuff so power goes from here to here and then this thing you know puts the power to other places and stuff we need to also unlock the council but for that we're gonna need to spend money which we currently do not have oh there you go you can see these guys are providing citizens and citizens citizens are gonna be the ones to that are gonna produce money for us and that's something we definitely do want so uh, let me go claim you and assign a person because we do need isotopes because we have currently zero we do have 15 waste so we're gonna need to do something about waste stuff so you can see this thing is um 400 energy storage we are using zero out of nine energy right now now waste needs to be burned off and that is you know one of those things that you want to kind of keep away from your buildings due to the fact that uh, it can be polluty. Uh, you can see over here if you click on pollution. Right now, all is good. There's no pollution. But once we start burning all of that, then it becomes a problem. So uh, that's something we're going to have to uh, deal with. Where exactly is that? Uh, that would be smokestack. There you go. We can actually unlock it. It uh, needs four energy and requires one employee. Employee, I believe, are not affected by that thing uh, let's put it like over here maybe oh maybe we should claim it first shall we <laughs> that seems smart right uh, there you go put it there uh, the employees I believe are not affected by that but the citizens will be so that's that's definitely something uh, let's let's claim you and let's salvage you this one, this one is, you can see, level 2 ruin, so there's a good chance it's going to have something better for us over here, so that's always good. So we don't have any credits, so we're going to have to start working on some credit-producing things, and we're going to be building a factory down here or so. Alright, so there you go. The building has been complete. It does have the energy. Now we can set an employee, and he's going to go in here, and he's going to start burning the waste. And as he burns the waste... We're going to be seeing the pollution levels go up around here. But uh, if you if you don't, don't burn too much waste, the clouds of pollution that, you know, 
starts up here it's gonna just dissipate slowly but surely so uh let's go build some factories down here let's say uh let's build a factory over here we could build two and then connect them i think uh we can do that just to show you how that works and sure let's claim this one and salvage it uh let's see what we got look at that three artifacts that ain't so bad that ain't so bad we have no influence to claim it though so um you know things are gonna things are gonna happen for us now things in here are also go gonna probably need some power so we're gonna need to do more about that and eventually uh we might also get attacked by the rabble camps so we're gonna have to do something about that we're gonna need some defenses okay you can see we have uh seven of waste not not the best is anybody working these right now or are they all just building you can also go over here and you can uh, actually tell them what to go for first so you know you can you can make priorities which is pretty cool um okay so we do need to build there you go if you look into this you can see it has this floor two four six eight ten we're gonna see what happens if you connect them if it goes to 20 or it goes to more i think it goes to more but i'm not 100 percent sure so uh let's um let's connect these two it's gonna take one isotope only to connect them okay and of course time it, everything takes time of course now um i hope the man burning waste over here yeah it's gonna it's gonna work in here constantly because we do want to get rid of that let's see yeah you can see the pollution right now it's still okay it's not too bad uh, but yeah people like living in here will not appreciate that of course you can see now it's spreading out <laughs> not very good all right so now this one is connected if you enter it let's see if it's now more it does seem to me like it's more two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Look at that. We got two rows extra since we did connect them. So that's perfect. Now we can go and build some more stuff. So to get citizens in, we need to build habitat pots. It requires one energy, it seems. And it does generate waste, which is unfortunate. So that's something we're going to have to deal with. So let's, uh, let's build maybe two of these. That should be fine. If you build two of these, that's going to give us four citizens living space. And we did say they go for one energy, which should be enough since we do have uh, right now four used. So, you know, that, that should work just fine. Because we need the citizens to actually start providing us with uh, money. Now, right now they don't have power. So I believe if I build industrial outlet, it's going to bring the power in here. But I think I'll still have to build an energy relay after that to actually connect this thing to these two things. But uh, let's actually see after they, dis they build us if that is correct. I think that is correct. They're just bringing the resources in here, which is good. We are uh, getting a bunch of influence. So let's go claim this bad boy. Get some more artifacts. Because why not? Let's see if they built it. Okay, so this one, yeah, has been built, but it's not producing energy yet, right? Yeah, there you go. So now we need to build an energy relay, and let's put it like this, and that should give uh, the power to both of these things. You do have some electricity going on there. I see that, yes. Now, after this is done, the way you employ these guys, now you have a couple of options for population. There you go. You can see now it has power. So you can build a conversion capsule. This thing basically converts uh, your citizens into employees. So you get more employees. Uh, it also increases the cap of how many employees you can have. Which is pretty good. Uh, you can also build a monetization station. <laughs> which is basically people that are idle. They watch YouTube and see a lot of adverts and produce money that way. You know, it's basically how I make money every day. You guys watch me, and I make a cent over every, I don't know, thousand people who watch me. It's it's a real money maker, you know? You, you get to be a millionaire in like a second. Trust me. Uh, so this thing was one energy required, right? So we should still be fine. Right now we are using six 
out of nine, so this would be seven. So there you go. This thing is going to be built. Now let's actually take a look if you can get any ships with... Uh, there we go. So I can spend four of my influence to get two citizens in. Isn't that sweet? Let's do it. Let's do that. And since we do have space for four, let's grab this one as well. It's going to produce some waste. We're going to get some minerals on the isotopes, but also get these boys. There you go. So these guys are now going to come down. They're going to move in, and they're going to start working. Well, just one is going to start working. So what we do want to do is probably produce more of, well, those things. Uh, we also should probably claim some more minerals, because that one is going to start running out soon. And we're going to need more minerals to, you know, get further ahead. Now, let's see. These boys are going to be moving in. There we go. You can see one is already producing credits. He's watching the good stuff on the TV over here, or whatever it is. And he's producing good stuff for us. Perfect. So, uh, let's go ahead and build one more. We're going to have to build another power relay. But uh, that never stopped anybody. Or energy relay, I should say. I think it needs to connect that one. Or does it... It does seem like it connects like this as well. So let's build it like this. As long as the green overlaps, I think. Let's actually check that. No, it does seem like they connect what, whatever they're in here. Doesn't matter on the how far away they are. That's that's sweet. So this one is not going to have power right now. Look at that. They, they produce some waste over here. Because they're just, you know, chilling over here, sleeping and, and all that stuff. There you go. He's going to go watch some YouTube. Perfect. I hope you're watching Industries of Titan video by uh, Coco Place. I hope you are, buddy, because that's the that's how how fast you would produce credits for me if you did. Totally. All right. So we're gonna need some power generation soon. We're also gonna need some potential defenses. So we still need a lot more credits to unlock that, and a lot more minerals as well. Minerals, Marie. We're gonna need minerals. Uh, let's assign a person working over here. And uh, let's go into our headquarters. And let's uh, actually go ahead and produce another uh, power jenny. So this one we did say it uses three fuel, while this one produces two fuel, uh, five fuel. So we have two extra. So if you go into M, this one uses two fuel. So we don't really need to start producing more fuel stuff. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot fit this bad boy in. So it does go up. Four minerals, eight minerals. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you build the small one, the medium one, or the large one. It all is the same. So I guess we can build this ones. Because it's going to do pretty much the same for me. So let's build you over here. And then let's build you over here. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at that. I like that. I like the way it looks. It's also so incredibly, incredibly messy, but... Okay, that does connect to that energy relay, it seems. It does seem like it does. But let's actually finish it. Are you connected? Yes, you are connected. So we're producing 15 now. We are full on fuel, or, you know, we, we have the, the amount we needed. And in this time, we did produce enough credits to go unlock our defensive turret. So let's unlock that. Uh, so we have extra energy, so we need four for this bad boy. We also need a lot more minerals, but it's okay. Uh, for we shall be producing minerals out of there. Minerals, Marie. Let's claim this bad boy. Let's salvage that. That's going to give us uh, 14 minerals as well. You could also, you know, potentially buy some resources if any of these boys head over here, but that's not the case. We also can't get any more people right now due to the fact that uh, we do not have any living space. That's just the way it is. You can see there's a lot of other different things that you can unlock out here. A lot of different buildings and stuff. So that's, you know, pretty good. And command center will increase your command area so this is the the area we can expand into right now that's that's it that's how far we can go which means we can't actually get this isotopes patch but i guess we do have this one uh so we'd have to build one of these bad boys which is you know not that bad and there's a council monument i've never actually built that one there we go we have the power to do the turret and now you can see the circle in which it will protect us and i think i'm fine building it like smack in the middle 
of our place. Now you can see over here there's like stuff on the ground still. You cannot build on that, which is slightly unfortunate until they move it. I would actually like if you, you know could click on this and then they would go and remove it right away, but that's okay. Let's build this bad boy over here. And this bad boy is gonna protect us if there's anything coming towards us and attacking us, which right now it isn't. So, um, we do have two of our citizens working, but I would actually like more employees. So, let's actually do something about that, shall we? Let's actually go... And, oh, Jesus, these guys are producing a lot of waste over here. Wow. That's, uh, yeah, very nice. So, if you build a conversion capsule, we do have the power for it. It also generates waste. So, basically what this does, as it's explained in the... Uh, the what's it called in the tutorial is it basically turns citizens into some kind of robots and it replaces their inner organs with gears and such so sounds like fun right sounds like fun we're gonna build one of these and we can click on converting people and i think you need artifacts to do that now you might see this burrow button over here so whenever you get attacked you can actually burrow your buildings uh to hide them and then they cannot take damage now fortunately Buildings that are connected, like this factory, cannot be burrowed. So, you know, that is a slight problem. Apparently, we don't have the minerals brought in here quite yet. Well, you guys do it. Go go ahead and do it. Unless they are building this thing first. Which is also acceptable. Uh, in any case, go mine minerals, Marie and such. That's going to be perfect. Let's see if any of these uh, bring any, any minerals so we can just quickly buy them. No, just uh, prison ship, new life. <laughs> that's a new, nice name. Okay, yeah, now the turret is being built. So that's cool. And it does sound like we have uh, built this device. There you go. Wow, there's a lot of waste in here. You know what? Just uh, let's just get, get me a waste receptacle in here quickly. So maybe you guys can at least, you know, put that in there. Uh, all right. So over here, we can convert one person using a red artifact. Train a citizen to become an employee. Let's do it. And then one man should go in here. There you go. Jump in there. And he's going to get turned into a proper employee. So you can see citizens went down. And there is our new employee. Sweet. And you're going to get another one going. And look at that. He's already working on the waste. Perfect stuff. You're going to get one more. And then, you know, whenever a new ship comes, we can get some more citizens and either turn them into employees or, you know, more stuff. Look at all that crap that just... Oh, he just puked on the ground. Beautiful. But he's onwards to working, which is, you know, very much commendable. Uh, I would like to get more people working on these things, if, uh, if we could, because we do kind of need minerals. So this one also needs an employee to work it. So, we're going to get the person in there. He's going to be chilling in there and shooting stuff at stuff whenever stuff happens. You can see it's now rotates over here and he's ready to shoot stuff. This one is producing pollution. Nice and steady. No red yet, which is okay. It's, it's not the best air, but, uh, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's just the way it is. But apparently your citizens can get sick if there is too much pollution. So, as I said, you want these smokestacks probably further away than I built it. Now, we do have money. So, how about we actually go unlock the council and see what these guys can do for you. So, now we've spent 300 just so we can talk to them. And there's the council member in our peer. Nice name, dude. Uh, so, what we can do... Yeah, council storage, interesting. Is... Uh, Trade in our stuff. Uh, trade in our stuff for influence or trade our influence for stuff. You can see the conversion rates are not the best, but is what we can do. Also, the barrow city that just lit up again, you do need to spend 200 credits to bury your buildings. And uh, if any of your buildings get destroyed or damaged, at least, I should say, to repair them, you also need that. You also need credits. And from what I've seen, they take actually quite a lot of credits, surprisingly. So, well, in the meantime, let's go survey some more of this stuff. Uh, why not, right? In fact, I would like to survey maybe some of these level 3s. Ooh, that would be spicy, wouldn't it? We can survey some of these big boys and see what we can. This should be in our uh, command area. Yes, it is. So we could uh, potentially go check them out. So what do we have out here? Some minerals, a lot of waste. There's some artifacts. 
Uh, this one is actually pretty sweet. Let's salvage that one. You know, something that does have a low amount of waste. Like, this one is just crap. Like, we would only want to claim it to destroy it. This one actually has two uh, red artifacts. So, we're gonna grab those. Mm, this one is low on the waste. So, we're gonna also grab that one. Well, that's a level two. Lots of waste, but also lots of minerals. This one has 13 isotopes. That's... I mean... Now, look at that. That thing has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Indeed it does. Indeed it does. All right, good. Uh, shall we take a look at what else we can build? So we can unlock a mine. Extracts minerals or isotopes from nearby resource nodes. So I'm guessing it extracts more stuff than what we can see over here. Also, why is there things in the ground over here? I don't like that. Uh, and we have storage facility that just stores more resources you're not storing in there. We can build uh, extra energy storage in here. Energy plant converts fuel into energy to activate energy piling grids. It needs four fuel and it requires one employee. We have fuel turbine fabricates fuel from toxic chemicals in the air. Currently, a fuel travels everywhere instantly. That's just the way it is. It outputs a lot of fuel, actually. Pretty good. Uh, what are my employees all doing? And why are they not working these things? Uh, is it because we don't have any storage space? that is that a problem because I don't see any of my employees anywhere no the storage is not fuel full uh, where did all of my employees go did they get lost in the in here they're just chilling over here huh they went to survey these things and they're like yeah this is nice but uh, now what <laughs> I think they have an issue all right um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, you know, just for the sake of it, let's build another storage container. A big one. Let's build it over here in the corner. It does need, uh, connection to, uh, power or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, it does seem like some of these guys were stuck. Because they're still out there. The, like, they are supposed to be working these. None of them are working these. Which is slightly unfortunate. And nobody is carrying these things. Uh, here they go now. I think, uh... We just activated them again. Yeah, it seems like they were stuck a bit. You keep in mind, this is still early access game. And, uh, like, when I was playing first the tutorial, at some point, uh, the citizens stopped working uh, those uh, those things, uh, those machines. And I had to build new ones to so they then would start working. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, unfortunate, but it, it is how it is. So, there we go. We're getting more minerals again in there. And uh, slowly they're bringing stuff in here. So, um, let's let's go... Um, what else we have? We have the command center, of course, and the council monument. <laughs> no, screw you. Uh, residence generates one waste per residence every four minutes. That's not the worst. You only get five population space from this. But it does have pollution resistance, which is pretty solid. Uh, so, this is population jobs. Five. Okay, so this this is just an office where they will uh, generate credits. That actually sounds pretty nice. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at if any ships there are. Uh, yes, let's uh, let's grab these. There you go. We're gonna get uh, more citizens. Sweet. And uh, maybe you know maybe you can do this one. How much energy we have? We're gonna need more energy to do that. So. Uh, Let's see, how are we doing on fuel as well? I think we max the fuel. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Because this is not what I showed yet. Uh, we can upgrade buildings. You can see we need six isotopes and it's gonna increase the sensor range and command range and all that stuff. So let's upgrade this building. Uh, so while the things upgrade, uh, whatever is in here is not gonna be working. So I think we are not producing energy right now. Actually, no, we still are. So I guess it's still working. So that's good. I think the tutorial said that, you know, whenever you upgrade or whenever you connect the buildings, things do not work. So maybe it was just when you connect buildings. Hmm, potentially. You can see we can also upgrade these. So that's pretty sweet. I wonder if you can actually uh, link another factory to this. That's a good question. In any case, you can see we have a level 2 headquarters now. Uh, we have a bit more range in all of this because we did get one extra range for command. If you enter this now, you can look at this floor of ours. But now we have a second floor. 
that is currently empty. Do you have all our stuff? There's combat floor, but it does seem to be disabled in early access, so we can't really do anything with that. Uh, so let's actually give this a test. Let's connect another factory over here, or just build another factory, and let's see if we can connect a third one. I would actually like to see if that is the case. Also, let's go unlock a storage facility, let's say. Sure. Let's unlock a storage facility. I want to see how it looks. Looks pretty dope, and I think uh, I'd rather build storage facilities and such close to the polluty area, you know. Oh, we'll see if that, uh, you know, goes well over there. There you go. They're building on. Uh, they're building the factory, and then we'll see if we can actually connect it. Now, I think uh, when I said earlier that uh, it broke my citizens so they wouldn't work and stuff, I think that happened after I, um, I had their citizen rooms and. Uh, their workstations inside of a factory that then I connected to another factory and that kind of broke it, I think. So maybe that does have some effect, but we'll see. Uh, let's hope not. So, can I connect you? No. So it does seem like you can only connect two buildings at the same time. That's okay. You know, we tested it. Now we know. Now let's actually build the storage facility. And I wonder if you can also enter the storage facility. That would be kind of cool. Also, you gotta admit, these buildings, they all look pretty sweet. Uh, so, let's actually try unlocking some more stuff. We do need more minerals, Marie. Uh, so, in th that in mind, let's uh, unlock the mine. We have the power for it. So, let's actually go into this factory and we're gonna, we're gonna produce some more power over here, if you can. So, first we need to produce fuel again. So That would be five fuel output. So, we're gonna go with this one. And then we need uh, energy, Jenny. So this one, uh, yeah, we'll build one M and one L. So that would be that would be the case. So we'll build this one, and then we're out of minerals. So we'll have to work on that. Okay, we do have the storage unit over here. It's looking pretty cool, I should say. I like it. It does need uh, power. It has the HP, the pollution is still good, and it does have huge amount of storage. And you can also upgrade these buildings, of course, if you need to. I don't see any... Yeah, there's some boys running around, okay. Okay, let's enter this one. Oh, we do have an enemy attack in 24 minutes. So let's wait for that one to happen as well. So this one is producing fuel right now. Uh, I don't think it does store anywhere, because we... We don't have storage in here. I don't know. Uh, I think it does say that fuel just travels. Yeah, fuel travels everywhere instantly. Uh, there's no need to connect that quite yet, which is acceptable. So this thing does have the fuel to produce stuff, but it's not connected to the grid. So we do need to build a uh, industrial outlet to actually get this bad boy going out. Let's build it out there. Yes, we still need a lot of minerals. They do seem to be very slow at connect collecting them right now. Uh, let's actually salvage this one. It's going to be plenty of that. So we're going to need basically more uh, employees working for us. In fact, uh, since we do have uh, some extra citizens... Right, we do not have extra capacity for employees. It's unfortunate. That is indeed unfortunate. But that's I guess that's fine. Uh, which device did we complete? We have completed that thing, so now we need to connect it with energy relay, and uh, then all is going to be well. So let's build that one, and then I'm still... This one is M, right? Yeah, we need to build the L one, but for now, we're going to need a bunch of more minerals. And when that one is built, it's going to be fine. So if you've seen the... Um, at the start of the video, when there was a roadmap uh, on the screen, you can see that they are also planning to add uh, vehicles and such. So that would, of course, speed everything up. So, you know, uh, you don't need to have these employees just run around and carry everything in here. You do have uh, the ability to just bring stuff in. So that's nice. Uh, do we want to claim? That's a lot of waste over there. Uh, this one had a lot of stuff. I mean, do have a lot of influence because it just passively all goes up, you know. So that's that's pretty nice. So this one you can also destroy. There's no artifacts, you know. You don't want to salvage. You can also just destroy, get the empty plots out of it, which is also acceptable. So sure, let's go. Let's go salvage this big boy. That's gonna give us more minerals, as we want to, and we're gonna wait for that attack to happen. So uh, let's get me 
this big boy going in here because that's the one I wanted and that's going to produce enough power for the city to build some more stuff. Right now we are 15 out of 15 uh, on that one and um, now we're going to need to build this one. I don't know exactly uh, if I just build them in like this, yeah, they do connect. So if I build them like this as well, they would connect. So we do want to build them like that, I think. This is where we'd want to build it, so that then gives me more access. Or, you know, maybe over here. I think this over here seems nice. Let's claim, you see, these ones that are empty, they cost almost no influence. We didn't really need to claim them all, but, you know, I kind of like the idea. Yeah, it does connect over there. So if we connect these two, and this one connects to that factory... Uh, then that factory and its power that it produces should connect to the other grid. I certainly hope that is the case. There you go. So now we have 15 out of 30, it says. So, did you... I think it already connected somehow. Uh, since we only have the this thing over here. It already says that it's connected. So maybe, you know, as you start building this, it already considers it connected. Because, you know, it now says that we are producing that amount of energy. Which is kind of nice. Uh, this thing does not protect that pylon, though. Which is slightly unfortunate. There you go. So now, now this should be all official as well, that we have that. And you can also upgrade those pylons, which is nice. Alright, so what did we want to build with that? We wanted to build a mine. Which again, you know, we're slow on isotopes. They, they really refuse to work in here. Uh, which I guess would just mean that... Uh, what would that be under? You know, it's kind of a mining? Would that be salvage? Extract? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. That's fine. Well, we'll need more. And we only need one mineral to build a mine. So let's see how this works. Oh, it does have a huge range. That's not something I uh, expected, but let's build that. I thought it's going to be like maybe like th three around or something like that. Or, you know, just one like that. But it does seem to have a huge range. So that's that's pretty cool. I like it. And we can have that bad boy working over there. And whenever we have the option uh since we do have the power now jesus look at all the waste over here <laughs> oh my god we do want more employees so we're gonna get another one of these conversion capsules we'll just build one right next to this it only takes six minerals so that's fine we're gonna turn more citizens into that and of course then we can build more living space for the citizens have them generate more credits for us then we can unlock more stuff and you know all that good stuff. But basically what we're really waiting for right now is for this enemy attack to happen so we can also showcase that thing. Because uh, I know you guys would like to see how it happens. I've only seen like one attack so far in the tutorial and uh, we dealt with it. Uh, and now we'll get to see if, you know, it might be different since I'm not playing the tutorial stuff. It might be a, a bigger attack or not. So basically there's rebel camps out there. The game wants you to build more of these command centers to expand your uh, territory. And basically, as it was explained to me, is as you reach the territory of rebels and you use your command centers to kind of claim their territory, they would just escape. They would, you know, not want to stick around because they're afraid of you and stuff like that. You know, they're just rebels. They just want to go away and something like that. Uh, that's my understanding. Still need minerals, boys. Still need minerals. If you want to bring them in there, that'd be great. Did you build the... Actually, we weren't building it here. We? we built it over here. Or we're supposed to be building it over here. Yeah, now they're still working on it. All right. Fair enough. But the mine is going to be complete. And I'm guessing we can then assign a person to the mine to work it. So we're just going to unassign these people because they don't seem to be working over here and we can assign a person there we go in here and we can actually set a target oh, okay that's kind of cool sure um, 
It does not appear to be wanting to set a target. Okay, what does this say? If we mouse over it, does it say anything? Hmm. It does not say anything. Huh. It does not seem to be doing anything for me. Extract minerals or isotopes from nearby resource nodes. Hmm. Oh, is this storage? Is it storage target? Mm, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we should be attacked soon. So, looking forward to that. Let's go uh, quickly get some more boys. Let's convert a man over here. And let's convert another man. There you go. Now we're going to have more boys coming in. There you go. Extra worker. A citizen goes down. Alright, so now we should see the rebels pop up soon. There you go. We get extra workers, so now we have extra hopeful stuff going on. And there he goes. There's the ship. I think it's... Yeah, it's going for that thing that is that we cannot defend. Wow, that was smart. Okay, you know what? I gotta admit, that was smart. Uh, that pylon's gonna die. We, we cannot really do anything to it. Uh, Alright, uh, they are smarter than you think. They did go for the only building that was out of the territory we can actually protect. And now we can sh shoot at it again. I almost said shit at it, but no, we'll just be shooting at it. Okay, you can see it's a ship. It's gonna be on fire. We are under attack. We could burrow. Burrow. In fact, we're gonna do that after, just to see, and now it's dead. There you go. We did it. We survived that one. You see the importance of stuff being protected. Indeed. So, now we can go over here and click on repair, and another person is gonna go over here and he's gonna use a lot of credits to actually do the repairs over here. And we can also go repair these things and those things. We can go repair. You can see they're repairing, and the credits go down incredibly quickly. Look at how quickly this goes down when you do repairs. So you definitely do want to have some stockpiled if you know you're going to be under attack and you know that you need to do some repairs. It's really crazy how fast this goes down. But in any case, we have seen now what the industries of Titan have to offer. Of course, there's a lot more to the game. It's still early access. There's going to be a lot more coming to the game as well in the future. So keep an eye on that. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. Check it out on Epic. It's available right now as of today. And, you know, in a year it's also going to be available on Steam if that's more your thing. But for now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you'd like to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time. For now, Coco out.